Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions. Today, I'm going to show you how to add an effect to multiple photos in Photoshop using actions. So let's say you've taken hundreds, if not thousands of photos, and now you have this one effect that you want to add to all of them at once without having to stay up for such a long time, you know, about 452 hours adding the same effect to each and every one of your photos over and over again your head might explode. So we can do this quickly and easily by recording ourselves with one image. So open up your folder and just select on any random image from your uh, thousands of photos, drag them into Photoshop and you get this. So now the next thing we want to do is add a couple different layers. I've made a tutorial on how to create this vintage effect in Photoshop. I'm going to do it once again, the same effect, except this time I'm going to be recording everything. First thing I'm going to do is open up my actions palette. Now it's this little play button looking thing over here, or you can go to window actions. And what we can do is come down here and click the new action button. It's kind of like the new layer button. Just click that and this new action window comes up. We can name it whatever we want. I'm just going to name it vintage for now and then hit record. Now keep in mind that once you hit record, everything you do in Photoshop is going to be recorded from now on. So watch out. Don't go to the bathroom because it's going to it's going to mark it down as go to bathroom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, duplicate this layer for safety purposes. You'll find out later on. And then I'm going to add a couple different adjustment layers by going down here, choosing hue and saturation. Um, Bring the saturation up to around 20 and then I'm going to add a brightness and contrast layer and bring the brightness up to around 20 as well. Also add a curves adjustment and go into the red channel. Uh, we can bring this up a little bit if it lets us and then bring this down over here. That just looks way too red. Let's bring this down. Then go to the green channel and just bring this up a little bit. And the blue channel, we can bring this down. I think there's a little bit too much green. A little bit of red. All right, so that looks like it'll work. And so now I am going to click on our little image here and we're going to go to filter, convert to smart filters, and then you're going to get this little dialog, click OK, then go to filter, lens correction. That's where you find lens correction in CS5. I think in uh, previous models it might be under a different menu. So now I'm going to go to custom, vignette, set the amount to negative 100, click OK. And now we got this little um, slider icon here under lens correction. We can double click that and bring the opacity down to 70%. Click OK. And now let's finally create another hue and saturation layer and set the mode to colorize. Bring this up to kind of a gold color and then leave everything else the same. I'm actually going to bring the opacity down to around 50%. And then finally, I'm going to add another solid color and kind of a pink color, bring the opacity down to around 5%, hardly nothing. All right, and now this is an additional step. If you want to take it, you can. You don't have to, but it'll it'll automate everything if you do take this step. Uh, you save the photo. So go to File, Save As, and this is our folder in which we're saving things in. We're going to go to Actions, and I'm going to save everything in here as a PSD first. So click Save, click OK, and then go to File Save As again, and save it as a JPEG image. Click Save, same folder, click OK. Now what this is going to do is it's going to save the photo as a PSD file and save it as a JPEG file. In case you have to make any kind of modifications, you can just open up the PSD file and make those modifications to individual photos. Now, if you don't do that, you can't do the modifications, or you can just have it save as JPEGs if you don't think you're going to have to do any editing later on. 
now that we've done all that, we can hit the stop button. Cut, we can uh, tell it to stop recording ourselves. And uh, now you can unplug your, your webcam that was uh, uh, recording your face. Your facial expressions are all recorded now. So now that we got this action done, we're, we're basically done. We can just go to File, Automate, Batch. We're going to choose the set to default actions. Your action is going to be the one that you just created, whatever you named it as. So in my case, it's Vintage. Uh, I'm going to choose the Source folder, which is Vintage. And you want to make sure that Suppress File Open Options Dialogs is checked and is the only one checked. And then you want to add a destination folder, but I just added a new folder in my original folder. So it's easier to find those images. And I chose Override Action Save As command, which since we used the uh, Save As command and it's recorded we can check this see if you check it it comes up with a little dialog box saying that if there are no save or save as steps no files will be saved so this is just going to override everything so it's all automatic and now you can set how you want it to save you can choose your let's say i'm just going to go to the document name and a one digit serial number and then the extension make sure that the extension is always at the end and then you can choose your starting serial number change the compatibility to Mac OS or Unix and uh, you know if you, in case you have any errors you can also make it stop for errors click OK and just wait it out and watch Photoshop do its magic you can go over there look at that photo it's like oh look at that look at that you can now go um, get on the treadmill and uh, and uh, get, a, get a few miles down maybe uh, catch up on uh, your crossword puzzles in the newspaper whatever you do in your free time while Photoshop processes all these images and if you can if you want to see we can open up this folder open up our actions and watch all those photos uh, get added so alright so it's done so here are all of our photos saved under a PSD file as well as a JPEG. So check it out. We've added that vintage effect to all of these photos. There you go. Adding any effect to any amount of photos in Photoshop quickly and easily without having to bruise your butt sitting on the chair. Be sure to subscribe if you want to. You can click that little middle button up there to subscribe and um, visit the website every once in a while I have a Twitter too you can find that link in the description below and so thank you for watching and until next time take care that was easy